In this video, I will teach you how to create your own AI personal assistants. And to do this, we're going to use Google's AI tool called Gemini. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. And here I am in Gemini. To get here, just go to gemini.google.com and make sure that you're signed in. And Gemini is pretty similar to ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot. So I can type in a prompt, maybe something like this, tap enter, and it summarizes, in this case, a great movie. So Google Gemini is a generative AI model that can generate responses to your prompts. But beyond that, you can use Gemini to create very specific personal assistants that can help you with all sorts of different tasks. Let me give you two examples. So I'm gonna put my mouse over here to the left side of Google Gemini, and you can see that I can click to enter a new chat, or I can go down here to Gems. And this is where you can create very specific custom personal assistants. First, I'm gonna click on Explore Gems, and it takes me to a screen that describes what gems are, and there are some examples here. But I'm just gonna click on New Gem, and let's build one right now. Let's say that I often struggle to know what to make for dinner. It would be nice to have a personal assistant chef. I'm gonna call this Chef Javier, and I'm gonna put in a description of this personal assistant. He's an assistant for the home cook who hates wasting ingredients and wants creative meal ideas tailored to their exact dietary needs and mood. That sounds good. Next, I need to give this gem, this personal assistant, some instructions. And notice the example that they have here. Here, I'm talking directly to the assistant. You are a horticulturist with a background in natural lawns. Okay, instead of that, I'm going to type, you are a world-renowned, witty, and frugal, because I want to save money, chef named Chef Javier. Your main task is to create a complete recipe, including ingredients, step-by-step -step instructions, and a drink pairing based only on the core ingredients the user lists. So this is a good start, and I could stop here and start using my personal assistant. Notice that over here on the right, I can click where it says Ask Gemini, and I can try it out. So let's say I have some rice, a banana, whole wheat bread, and some asparagus. <laughs> let's see what this produces. So Chef Javier is working to create <laughs> just a wonderful meal and a recipe to create it. So like I said, I could stop here and just save this gem as is, but there are some great options that we have to make this an even stronger personal assistant. So I'm gonna tap enter on the keyboard here in the instructions dialog box, and I'm gonna put in more parameters for this Chef Javier personal assistant. And I've pre-written these in another document. I'm just gonna paste them in. It says, you must always assume the user has basic pantry staples. And also, I want the AI personal assistant to ask a follow-up question about the user's cooking skill level and also dietary restrictions. Finally, I want Chef Javier to name the recipe, give it some personality. And that's where the wit of Chef Javier comes into play. I just noticed a typo. I'm going to fix that. So this will give added structure to Chef Javier and should produce better results for me. There's one other thing I could do here to strengthen this AI personal assistant where it says knowledge. I can click to add files or documents. I can upload PDFs, images, videos, Word documents, whatever it might be. And notice that I can also add from Google Drive. After connecting to Google Workspace, any documents that are in my Google Drive account, I can upload those as reference documents for my AI. So for example, if I'm creating a personal assistant to help me comply with the rules that my employer has, I could upload a list of those rules. Or maybe there's a content creation guide that YouTube has or that my business has. Again, I could upload those so that the gem that I'm creating is aware of the rules that I need to follow. That's just one example of when adding files might be helpful to this personal assistant gem that I'm creating. And in turn, that will make the personal assistant more useful to me. 
In this case, I think this is perfect. I'll click save and the gem Chef Javier has been created. It's been added to my gem manager page here at the left, you'll see that. And you might want to read this full statement here, but I'll go ahead and click start chat and it takes me specifically to this personal assistant inside of Google Gemini that I can use to help me. So let's say I have some leftover spaghetti, if I can spell that right. I have green grapes, romaine lettuce, grilled chicken, cornflakes, and some barbecue sauce. Click submit, and Chef Javier now should ask me some follow-up questions. What's my cooking skill level? I'm a beginner in cooking, also no alcohol. Click submit, and it's gonna revise the recipe that it had already started creating. So Chef Javier has created a beginner-friendly guide to making corn-fed chicken and grape escape salad. Wow, this sounds amazing. And I have all of the ingredients listed and step-by-step -step instructions for how to create this culinary masterpiece. Notice that the drink pairing is non-alcoholic because I specified that in the prompt. So now I can just navigate away from Google Gemini. I'll just go to google.com and proceed with my day. But anytime I need to use that personal assistant, I can just go back to gemini.google.com. And here at the left, I can put my mouse at the left panel and it opens up and there's Chef Javier ready to help me. Now, sometimes the gems that you create will not be visible here. In that case, you need to click explore gems and it will take you to a list of all of your gems. Now, before we end, I want to give you one more example. So I'm going to click new gem. I'll give it a name. How about travel itinerary creator description? I'll just call this an expert travel agent. And I'm going to specify that this is for two day trips. So I want the travel itinerary creator to focus on planning two days in a particular city because I also have my own ideas for the rest of the trip. So I've put in the following instructions. I want a focus on activities, food and drink, and kind of a surprise me idea. Notice that I'm asking for specific format. I want a bulleted list with travel times and an estimated budget. Now, one additional feature to be aware of is if you're having trouble writing your prompt, you can click here where it says use Gemini to rewrite the instructions and Gemini will polish this and make it potentially a little better. Again, I could add files to strengthen this personal assistant, but I'm gonna click save, start chat, and let's say I'm going to Yakima, Washington and need an itinerary. So let's see what Google Gemini can create for my amazing trip to Yakima. And my personal assistant has put together a great itinerary complete with a budget, food recommendations, and more. Now when I go to the left panel, I have two personal assistant gems that I can choose from. And again, if I want to create more or see the whole list, I can click on Explore Gems. So I hope you can see the potential power in creating your own personal assistants using Google Gemini, and they're called gems. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my fantastic super techie channel supporters. Thanks for all you do to support the channel.